Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be putting together this $400 gaming PC brought to you by Micro Center. Micro Center is an awesome place where you can actually go in store and pick out all the parts you could ever want. They sponsor all our PC build live streams that we do here. We're actually live right now streaming to people over on Twitch. Hello guys. Um, and we are doing another PC build featuring a Ryzen APU. Micro Center is actually hosting a couple of contests. If you were building a PC to put your custom PC build on their website, you can use that links in the description down below. There's also a deal on some flash drives and SD cards, links in the description down below. Micro Center is really awesome. They're always providing deals for our viewers and people out there who are just looking for PC parts. We highly suggest them, especially if you have one nearby. So special thanks again to Micro Center for making this build possible. How about we go ahead and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this build. So for the processor and the graphics card, we have the Ryzen 5 3400G. So this is an APU, meaning it has both integrated graphics and it's the actual processor. It's a four core, eight threads. So it's kind of up there with like the 3100 and a little bit lacking of the 3300X. So if you can find those for cheaper in a graphics card, absolutely go for it. But for this build, we're going all small form factor, low power, low budget, and it does have an upgrade path. And for the motherboard, we have the tried and trusted Asus Prime A320MK. So this is a micro ATX board, which is going to work out really nice with the case that we got. It does have a nice black and white color scheme as a lot of this build's gonna have, and we'll throw in a little bit of RGB as well to make it look good. Since 16 gigs is becoming crucial, we have 16 gigs of crucial DDR4, 3200 megahertz, dual channel, really good stuff, and honestly, some of the best RAM that you can get out there for the price. As for storage, we have the Inland Premium 256 gigabyte SSD. Now we opted for a two and a half inch for one, saving money. Uh, Micro Center has some really good deals on SSDs, specifically their in-house brand. You could opt for some more storage if you're gonna play games like Warzone, but considering we're doing an APU build, you're probably mainly focusing on esports titles. So this should be enough storage to get you up and running, but you could always add a hard drive as well. Links in the description down below, but this is a very trusted SSD brand that we use many times and we highly recommend it. And looky here, we have another in-house brand of Micro Center. This is their power spec uh, power supply brand. This is a 430 watt power supply, which is more than enough for an APU build and an upgrade to a graphics card in the future. It is 80 plus white certified, so you have that reliability there. Um, but yeah, we've used these power supplies in pretty much every single Micro Center build we've done, and they're really awesome. And now for the case, and we'll talk about this in a minute, we have the legendary Q300L, uh, a case that we've used numerous times here on the channel, and a lot of people have used before. Got those nice removable magnetic mush, mesh dust filters, mesh dust filters. Uh, and this is actually a pretty awesome case for the money, coming in under $50 the majority of the time with this acrylic side panel, not timber glass, but it is a nice form factor. People who like cube cases love the Q300L, and we're gonna make it look really nice with this RGB strip, just basic RGB strip that you can buy off eBay. We buy a ton of them in bulk when we do these PC builds, and well, they do a great job at making these builds look really nice. So how about we go ahead and put it together and see how nice it's gonna be.
now that we have this $400 Ryzen 5 APU PC all put together, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now for those commenting down below, this is not a gaming PC. This is an APU system. There's no graphics card, this and that. You're probably right. Ryzen APUs, while yes, they can game, are not quote unquote the best for gaming PCs. The main reason we went with the Ryzen APU at a $400 budget is one, upgradability and long-term support. You can compare that to a recent video that we just put out using a $400 combo off AliExpress, and you could definitely get more performance out of the gate using that build. But with this configuration, you have long-term upgradability to add, let's say a GPU like an RX 580, add whatever other sort of RAM upgrades you want, maybe in the CPU upgrade on the same motherboard, and you have some easy long-term upgradability with this. And also, APU graphics are not as bad as you might think. Using new parts for $400, you really cannot do much better than this. Now, while it is a decent option for $400, there are some limitations, but in games like Valorant, which you're seeing on screen right now on high settings 1080p, you have absolutely no problems whatsoever getting over 100 FPS, which is to be expected. Valorant's kind of an easy game to run, but if you do use an APU, you are going to have an advantage over something like Intel Integrated Graphics, which are, well, very lackluster to say the least. The same goes for games like Fortnite. While you're not going to be getting over 144 FPS on high refresh rate, you can get over 60 FPS most of the time using pro settings. There are some dips down below 60 here and there, but if you do want to crank the resolution down to maybe like 1600 by 900, you can most certainly keep that frame rate above 60. Ryzen APUs are only as good as what you're willing to compromise on. Resolution is the number one thing. If you're willing to play on a resolution like 1600 by 900, you could certainly get more FPS, and in a game like Fortnite, that would definitely be pretty beneficial, especially considering you are probably hovering a little bit below 60 most of the time. Now, a situation where the Ryzen APUs do not do well is AAA titles, and Shadow the Tomb Raider is a great example of that. Even running on low settings at 720p, we cranked out barely 30 FPS, which is not a great experience, and I would not recommend it. So if you do know that you want to play games like Valorant, CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege maybe on lower settings, and games like Minecraft and things like that, then this configuration will work perfectly fine for you. But if you do want to stretch into AAA titles, you most certainly will need to grab a graphics card at some point, something like an RX 570 or 580 used, and then you'll have a really capable gaming system with just a simple upgrade for about 100 bucks more. So, so yes, Ryzen APU systems are pretty decent on their own, and for new parts, you really cannot do much better. But if you are willing to go used, of course, you can get some better options on the used market. We've done them numerous times here on the channel, but we just wanted to show you guys what the new market looks like and how Ryzen APUs still do have a place in the market for those looking to get an entry level PC that they can upgrade in the near future. So that pretty much wraps up the benchmarking section of today's video. How about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so as you can see in 2020, the APUs, they still have a place in this market. The Ryzen 5 3400G, especially at its price point, is still pretty comparable, and it's super easy just to slap a GPU in here like an RX 580 or above and get some really awesome performance out of it. So for $400 using all new parts, the APU option is still very viable, and the person who won this PC during our Twitch stream, if you guys aren't following already, go to twitch.tv slash hit that follow button, uh, is going to really enjoy this computer and will have a really awesome upgrade path behind it. So of course you could save a little bit of money by going with the Ryzen 3 3200G, you could probably go with 8 gigs of RAM if you really wanted to, and make this build a little bit closer to 300, but we honestly wanted something that out of the box would be ready, as Matt said, just to slap a graphics card in. And a 16 gigs of RAM that's pretty fast, and on top of that, 3400G is a 4 core 8 thread, so you'd be able to easily put in something as good as a 1660 Super and it would work really good with this processor. So overall, very impressed with this PC build. If you're interested in purchasing any of the parts of this PC build, links in the description down below. Be sure to support my sooner if you have one nearby. Special thanks again to them for helping us out with this PC build and allowing us to give away a PC to you guys every single month. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I think we should go bug Micro Center to figure out the next build. Yeah, what's the next one? $10,000? I think so. <laughs>